this is Natasha from YMO Homeschool. Today I wanted to show you how I use the Ordinary Parents Guide to Teaching Reading in conjunction with Evan Moore Basic Phonics Skills Level D. Now this Evan Moore book is grades two to three. We are on lesson 144. This book goes along perfectly with where we're at in this curriculum. However, there are levels A, B, and C. And if you're starting this book from the beginning, I would pick up all the levels A through D in the basic phonics skills um, series. So I'm going to give you an example of today's lesson to show you how I do this. So we did lesson 144 today, the silent L. If you're not familiar with this book, this book is scripted. It tells you exactly what to say and it gives the students the words to read right in the book in bold. So it's just one book to teach them to read all contained together. The one thing I don't like about this book is that it doesn't give the rules. It, it tells you how these groups of words work together, but it doesn't give the phonics rules specifically. So it tells you the L will be silent, but it doesn't specify why or when the L is silent. So I suppose they do learn because they simply practice and then it becomes natural to them. But I find that this basic phonics skills book is really helpful with the rules and extra practice. So here's how I do it. I look and I see, okay, we're doing the silent L. Then I open this book up to the contents and I find silent letters, okay? And that starts on page 38. So then what I do is I flip to page 38 and it gives a more detailed list of all the silent letters. And so I find L, and that started on page 62. Now, I have already pulled these out and used them, so I will show you these, what they look like. So what I like about this workbook is it gives a phonics fact, which is essentially a phonics rule, and it says sometimes a letter in a word makes no sound. It is a silent letter. Okay, and then it has a worksheet to do. Then it has another worksheet with more practice. Notice these words, chalk and walk and talk. These are also in here. This correlates beautifully. And then the last worksheet for the silent L gives a more specific phonics fact. The letter L is usually silent when it comes before the letters F, K, M, or V, and in the UD spelling pattern. Notice it mentioned nothing of that in this lesson. It didn't mention that rule anywhere in this lesson. And for some students, having a rule to hang on to is very helpful. So that's how I do that. So let me show you one more example of how I correlate this, the silent W before R. So again, I would open this up. I'd go to silent letters. I see that that starts on page 38. Again, same starts on the same page because we're still, still dealing with silent letters. Then I find W, page 55. And here again, I turn to page 55. And here I'm given a phonics fact. Sometimes the letter pair WR stands for the er sound. The W is silent. Have another worksheet another worksheet, and a, another worksheet. So there's four worksheets here. Now, the good thing about this is that each one of these concepts has a few pages on that letter or that blend or that concept. So if your child got stuck on a lesson, you could do one worksheet a day and spread a lesson out for a few days until your child got it. Now, we did the three worksheets all in one day. We'll move on to the next lesson. But I do like that in the Evan Moore book that it does have multiple worksheets for each lesson for that extra practice. And I love how it correlates so well. Anyway, that is how I use these books together. I find they really do go beautifully together. And I like the balance of the easy to teach scripted lesson plans, but with the more formulaic rules and practice in the Evan Moore book. Thanks for watching.